Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be all about how you can treat dark circles, bags, under eye puffiness. You know life happens and sometimes it is hard to get enough sleep. So that's when those bags happen, the puffiness of the face happens. But these tips and tricks will help your skin be revived and also look like you are well rested. So with that being said, I'm just gonna get right into it. My first tip is to use homemade ice cubes. So you can just use regular purified water ice cubes for your face to help take away puffiness but i find when making them out of tea or some type of natural diy they are much more effective plus they have skincare benefits so usually i make cucumber water ice cubes and especially in the summertime when it's really hot i do have a video about that so i will link it down below but i have gotten really into using rose water ice cubes and i will show you really quickly before i explain the benefits how i did this So as you can see, it's super simple to make. You just need to freeze it overnight and then you have your ice cubes ready to go in the morning time. I usually take them out of the tray and uh, put them in a Ziploc bag so I can store them. So the benefits of using rose water is just as if you were to use a rose water toner on your face. It helps to naturally hydrate skin and also reduces redness. What the ice cube does in particular when it has the rose water in it is that it really helps if you suffer from dark circles or redness under the eye to calm that down and to smooth that down. Also too, what's really good about these type of ice cubes is if you do use it consistently, it will help with the anti-aging process. So those fine little lines underneath your eyes or the puffiness, like I get a dent right here sometimes because of the puffiness of my face, um, that will help smooth that out over time, but you have to use it consistently. So the rose water natural treatment I find is one of the best uh, anti-aging slash dark circle treatments you could use uh, for ice cubes. Now, the other ones that I make are cucumber and green tea. Two are really good with swelling of the face to kind of wake up the skin and even out the skin tone. But I find that underneath the eyes, the rose water works the best. So it's really simple. I just take an ice cube. Just be, have to be kind of careful because the tea itself does have a purple purple tint to it. So you don't want to use like a white washcloth or anything. But I just do it over the sink and I... I just apply it underneath my eyes and I massage until it keeps melting down, melting down. And then I'll go ahead and ooh, cleanse my face. This is the tea brand that I use. I got it at the supermarket Food for Less. So wherever they sell Hispanic or Asian products, they usually have this type of loose tea and it's very inexpensive. And it's the same thing as if you were to get it at an ex expensive tea store. A lot of my natural treatments, I buy the dry herbs from this brand and I find it to be really good. So. Yeah, I just wanted to show you and it's under $2. So the next tip that I have for you is more of like a temporary fix. The rose water ice cubes are definitely, that's why I mentioned it first, my number one thing you should do. Um, if you do it consistently, it really does help treat the dark circles plus prevent and the ice itself the coldness will help the puffiness um, but this one is more kind of like a temporary fix but it does work so i really suggest to get hydrogel eye masks so i have this agave cooling one right here the texture of these are like a jelly mask and i do keep them in my fridge so they're super cooling when you put them on so they look like this they have one for each under eye and you just apply them like this underneath your eye. I'll stick one on to show you. Like that, or maybe even like a little closer when I don't have makeup on, um, right underneath my eye. And then I just leave it on for 
a few minutes and it helps me before makeup application. The reason that I say that these are a temporary fix because although they do work quickly, they work almost instantly and after you take them off, you are going to see your under eyes are much more hydrated and the dark circles are faded. Um, they don't last forever. So this is more kind of a quick fix if you really need to do something fast to get rid of those under eyes and to look more awake and refreshed. I pop on some of these under eye masks and it's going to do the trick. But if you want something that really is going to treat in the long run, uh, the rose water ice cubes, like I mentioned, will help the lines and permanently help the dark circles. Uh, these are definitely just something that's um, quick and fast working, but they're not going to give you the skincare benefits. This one, I will put the link down below where I got it. Uh, you get 60 pieces or 30 for each eye, so I think it's a good value. So my next tip is to use a gua sha. So I personally like to do it at night before I go to sleep, and it really helps my muscles and my face relax, and plus it flushes out all the fluid, so the morning time my face isn't as swollen. So for a massage tool, I do find that this is the most effective one to help treat puffiness underneath the eyes and dark circles, just because you can really get in there and flush out all the fluids so if there's swelling underneath the eyes it's going to take care of that it's going to relax the muscle underneath the eyes because you can really get really close and then just do so, uh, motions downwards and it helps to like I said drain the fluids but it also helps to smooth out underneath the eyes so in this lighting if you could see I have like a bag right here from sleeping but these get really puffy like the tops of it get super puffy and even with eye patches or ice cubes the swelling is not going to go down um, as much as if I was to use this the reason being is because it's really getting underneath my skin I feel into my muscle and massaging all of that out, flushing it out. So it really does help. So I do think that this is very important to do, especially when it comes to treating under eye bags, just because you think all day you're straining your eye muscles, your eyes, the face muscles, and it's just creating tension. It just helps smooth everything out, flush out all the fluids, takes care of the swellingness. And as far as like the darkness of your eyes go, um, sometimes it's not just because your skin is getting dark, it's literally underneath your skin like the veins so this really helps to like relax the veins settle them down so it's a wonderful skincare tool and i do notice the puffiness underneath my eyes really decrease when using this and it looks a lot smoother so washa okay so my last tip is to use concealers now of course concealers are makeup they aren't going to help you with the skincare benefits or treat in the long run they just they, their makeup so they cover the dark circles and bags when it comes to makeup products concealers are definitely really important because they are that miracle product that makes you look more rested it brightens underneath the under eyes and just you know ties in the whole look together so the two that i have right here that i suggest for all skin types is the first one is a full coverage concealer it's the tart shape tape it is very popular um, it's a double duty heavy concealer that's how it's described this is a very thick concealer a little bit goes a long way and when you are really heavy-handed with this and put a lot on it definitely covers everything so i do suggest this if you do have dark circles just because it will literally cover the whole skin underneath the eye but it doesn't cake up as much as some other full cover concealers you can put uh, powder on this and you can bake on top of this and it doesn't look like chalky or cakey it still looks smooth and flawless so for dark circles and discoloration this one is definitely one of the best concealers i've ever used i really like it plus this one lasts a long time it's really good if you're moving around a lot throughout the day and you need something heavy duty to make sure you have coverage all day long if you put this on in the morning it's still going to be intact underneath your eyes by the end of the day so yeah the shape tape concealer and the other one i suggest isn't as much full coverage but it does look very flawless underneath the eyes it's a lighter formula uh, it's the nars radiant creamy concealer and today i have it underneath my eyes and i do think it brightens and just adds a very natural glow to the skin so it is a lot thinner than the shape tape but it still gives you coverage it covers what it needs but it has a very natural radiant finish which was what i like about it plus also even though this is a natural concealer it lasts like you can put it on just like the shape tape in the morning time and by nighttime your concealer is still going to be in place so these two are the two main suggestions i suggest for dark circles uh, just because they cover everything that needs to be covered don't look cakey and are long lasting 
So the formula of these are really good. So I hope that you found this video helpful. I really wanted to make this video because I find these tips are very effective. Um, and there's just like a little bit of everything, makeup to DIY skincare that I do to really help with dark circles and under eyes. And again, I know life happens. Sometimes we can't get enough sleep, but I feel like taking care of your under eyes is really important so it can prevent premature aging. And with that being said, if you do like these type of tip videos, please give it a thumbs up and leave me in the comments down below what you guys do for dark circles or puffiness or what your favorite concealer is because I really like to try new ones all the time. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for more videos and I will see you in my next one.